Ah, the infamous turtleneck. You probably know what this is. We're going to fix it with a 3D print. So the main issue with these cables is that you get a, some kind of turtleneck. So the, the cable starts to bend over here as you can see and then it breaks. And that's not what we want. So um, I fixed this with a little bit of tape. Didn't do a very good job, but now I did a 3D print and I'm hoping that that will be a better job. So let's just get this out of here. This is a very bad situation. I don't know if this can be fixed. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh wow. I'm hoping those are not part of my cables, otherwise. Oh no. Oh yes, okay. It looks like. Ah. Uh, it looks like I already broke the cable probably. Oh god, why am I doing this? Come on. Well, this is going great. This is going from very bad to even worse. Why is this so difficult? So this is what's left of my cable. Um, it's not great, but it could have been worse. What I'm going to need is this. I, I 3D printed this and maybe this can help to support my cable if it still works and on the other side I'm going to use this oh god this is going very bad very fast so let's try to open this 3d print it has a lot of supports which is always amazingly difficult for me to get out how does this okay oh shice I already broke it oh f me sideways oh come on Simon I spent like half an hour printing this and I, I, I touch it one minute and it's already... I, I broke it already, like how... Ah, how do I get the supports off? My god, this is a difficult job. Why would I want to make a video like this? The issue with uh, these kind of things is that you that it's always very difficult to get the supports out. Unless you actually want to break it. That's not what we want, is it? And you're probably watching this saying, man, you're doing a terrible job at getting out these supports. But hey, this is the unboxing. This is a terrible channel. <laughs> Things will get better when you try, I always say. Okay, I got one support out. All right, this is great, Simon. Good job. No, I need to get the other ones out. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this than what I'm doing right now. There probably is. And there are probably tools for this and not a knife. Ow! Oh, that hurt my nail. Ah. I actually got the supports out, which is a great job. Well done. Of course, I broke it, as you can see. They should be connected with each other and then we would have a long thing, but okay, I broke it. So let's see if I can actually use this on this cable. Um, I don't know exactly how it works, but we'll just try it out and see. This probably needs to fit in there. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Broke it completely. Uh, okay. That didn't work. Let's try the next one. Luckily, I um, printed two different versions. So this is a small one. I don't know if this will be better. I'm hoping, otherwise this video will be garbage. Okay, so uh, I just need to open the supports over here, as you can see. And then my life will be a lot easier. I have actually no idea what I'm doing. I'm just winging this, trying to get the supports off over here. Oh, I'm already getting a cramp in my fingers. Well, I finally got everything out of here. All the stuff that shouldn't have been in there. And I tried uh, putting this over here, but I think this is a lost cause. Like this connects over here and then the the, the broken part is already way too long. so. Ah, uh, this one's broken. Yep. 
There's nothing we can do about that anymore, I think. Let's try it with uh, my own cable. I have this uh, nice cable laying around. This is a brand new one. And I want to protect it, of course. So with uh, the thing I 3D printed, it's fairly easy to protect. So I just put this... Okay, no. Um, I just put this in here. Like this, and then push this one down. Like that. He attack, he protect, but most importantly, he get a turtleneck. Oh my god! I'm just breaking new cables. Why am I doing this? Oh, Only problem I get when I push this further away is that the cable gets a little bit stuck in there. And that's not what I want. So right now it's like this. And this can actually protect my cable. So this took like seven minutes to print. It will protect my cable from wearing out in the future, like this one did. So yeah, would I recommend printing this? Uh, I would, because uh, it will make your cable stronger, as you can see. And um, that will last, that will make your products last longer than usual, because I know Apple products, they tend to break very fast if you use them for a couple of years. So, yep, yeah. yep, this was a good choice to print. And I'm hoping that my cable will last longer now. I'll up update you if my cable breaks in the coming weeks or something because of this. Then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you not to print this, but for now... Hey, this um, uh, 3D printer I'm going to put in the description so you can print it yourself if you have a 3D printer and test it out. But for me it actually works and I would definitely recommend it. It's a great little thing, it's not a lot of work to print. And it will help you to guard your cable against the uh, infamous turtlenecks. This was the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the unboxing. And become a real unboxing fan today. Or a review. Or it's, the channel's name is the unboxing. I know I don't really do unboxings. But it's all about tech and other stuff. Like, yeah. So, um, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.